like most people, I store it in a big plastic box just to keep things organized and clean and ready to go whenever we need it. A stove is really important. One I'm using right now is a Coleman liquid fuel stove. I have a two burner propane stove, which I think is pretty much the standard for car camping and would recommend that for most people. The main thing about that is, you know, it really doesn't have to be something fancy. So this stove I bought used for probably 50 bucks. Propane stove can go for less than that. Basic model, two burner is really gonna get you through probably 90% of what you need to do. A decent sized cast iron skillet depends really also on the size of your stove. So this one fits nicely on my stove. Next up is kind of a, a restaurant style big metal spatula, not a plastic flimsy thing. You know, we're cooking with fire, we're cooking on a gas stove, and I'm cooking on a cast iron frying pan. So I wanna be able to really scrape and not really baby these things. And a pair of metal tongs. So tongs are probably one of the most important things I bring because I'm handling things over a fire or again on a frying pan. I can use this for so many things. Anytime something maybe falls in a fire or anything like that, uh, metal tongs will get you through a lot. An old camp kettle, it's actually a Trangia kettle that I've had for something like over 20 years. You can get away with just a, a saucepan, but I have this, I like using it. Next up are some leather gloves. Leather gloves are kind of a strange kitchen item. This is on the fire, or if this is on my stove and it's getting hot, I can always handle things, protect my hands. And I can also pick up logs. If I drop something really quickly in a fire, I can grab them with this too. So leather gloves, super important part of my kitchen setup. A few more things that I use all the time. Number one are real utensils. So, so just knives and forks and spoons. These are full size, normal forks and spoons. I don't like using plastic cutlery and I really don't like those spork multi-purpose tools when I'm car camping. And I find that keeping them organized in a little pouch like this, which is just something I got off of Amazon for five bucks. It's in my kitchen container and I can just pull that pack of cutlery out, put it on the table. I know where it always is. And then I can just put everything in there and put it away. Similarly is a real kitchen knife. So this is a cheap kitchen knife that I just keep in a piece of cardboard to protect myself from getting cut when, and, and dulling. When I'm out camping, I always have knives on me, like a folding knife. These like GSI and I think MSR make almost full size uh, chef's knives that have kind of a plastic case that clips on. I don't have one of those. It could be a good option, but uh, I really like having uh, a full kitchen knife on me. Other cooking utensils are a plastic, uh, plastic spatula and a large spoon, just really useful things. The plastic spatula is also because I carry a small camping non-stick pan. I really don't use this very often. It is nice sometimes to be able to cook something really quick, um, non-stick, and then just clean up with like a, a paper towel. And if you're using non-stick, I mean, you should use a plastic utensil so you don't scratch it all up. A small saucepan, again, this is just old camping gear that I have. It happens to be an MSR, um, stowaway pot. It's actually pretty small. I use it quite infrequently, but sometimes we're cooking a certain meal and it, it really does come in handy to have an extra saucepan. Top of a large pasta pot. This pasta pot is another do-all uh, utility tool. You can see it's blackened. It's been on a fire. So I bought this at Walmart or something like that for a couple of bucks. It's useful for obviously making uh, pasta and any kind of meal where you need a large saucepan. Also a storage container in my bin and on top of that it's my wash basin. So what's really great about having a metal wash basin is that you can put this on the stove with some water in it, heat it up, um, put some soap in there and do your dishes with warm water and it's just something you can't do with a plastic wash bin. And the fact that it's kind of multi-purpose means that I'm reducing the number of things I'm bringing with me. So what's left in the bottom of my bin are odds and ends. Um, some plates, these are just plastic camping plates. I don't use them very often and I'll explain why. Some kind of bowls, these are just Ziploc storage containers that make great little bowls because if for whatever reason you need a storage container, you can just close them in there. They're cheap, they're easy to get. Some wine glasses because if you're adults and you like to drink wine and you don't have a wine glass, that's a problem. Mugs and cups, so these are just those really cheap 
these are just those really cheap plastic Starbucks mugs. Um, they work as cups. They're also great for coffee and things like that. They're not insulated, but um, I think they're a pretty good tool. And not only that, they're stackable. So a lot of mugs won't be stackable and they'll end up taking up a lot of space. So here I've got four mugs with lids. They take up hardly any space. Something to do your dishes with. So a little container of soap, sponge, two other kind of utility items, some kitchen shears and some kind of strainer. So this is a really old MSR pot strainer for making pasta. I don't make pasta much, so it doesn't really matter for me what I have. Something minimalist like this works. Um, but if you're a pasta person, having a full-size strainer could really be something that you need. Again, something that you can get at Walmart or whatever. The kitchen shears, just something that's really useful. When you need scissors, um, you need scissors. Next up are some paper plates. <laughs> this is something that I've been using since I was a kid camping with my father, just because doing dishes is one of the last things that we really want to do sometimes. So making a meal, having a plate, and then just being able to burn it if you've got a fire might seem kind of lazy and wasteful, but you know, I'm out here to have fun, not do dishes, not spend my time cleaning up. To have a meal quickly and then get going is pretty nice. Obviously, sometimes you're gonna do dishes, so having some soap and uh, a sponge or whatever you like to do your dishes with, you need to have that and you'll end up doing some dishes, but these can be a massive time saver and just make your life more enjoyable. A few clean Ziploc bags in case you have some leftovers or, or anything like that. It's pretty handy to have something where you can store some food and maybe get a lunch ready or something like that if you're going out on a trip. Some garbage bags just to be able to keep your camp tidy. I do have a little bit of a pantry in my kitchen box which are some kitchen essentials for cooking. So some salt, some oil, mustard, ketchup for hamburgers, hot dogs, things like that, hot chocolate, and whatever your coffee system is for the weekend. Today, This weekend we brought some uh, instant pouches of uh, coffee. They're not the greatest, sometimes we bring a variety of systems for our, for our coffee and, and whatever you're kind of into. If you're a coffee drinker, if you drink tea or whatever, or you don't drink any kind of hot drink, then you don't need that. But it is pretty handy to have those kind of non-perishable uh, pantry items in your kitchen box, almost always ready to go. That means you just grab your kitchen and uh, you're ready to go camping. And last but not least is a some kind of water jug. So in camp, it's pretty handy to have a large container of water. So that's everything. I hope this is some, you found some useful information in here. And um, just remember that you don't have to go out and spend a ton of money. So it's really not about the kind of gear you have. It's just making sure that you have what you need and then you're ready to go out and have some fun. Last thing I forgot to mention, you need a cooler and it doesn't need to be a $500 Yeti cooler. Anything works.